What's up guys, uh, I got some pretty exciting news, some of the most exciting news that we've had in the iPhone world in a long time. Now this isn't 100% confirmed, but there are leaked pictures and video of a new iPhone. I don't actually know what the name of it is, it could be referred to as the iPhone HD, which I've heard it referred to a few times, or it could be referred to as the iPhone 4G. But here it is. So Gizmodo.com, which is a big tech blog, said they found this iPhone in Redwood City at a bar. And uh, they said it was disguised in a 3GS case. It looked just like a 3GS from the outside, aside from being able to see the front-facing camera. But I've heard that it was stolen from Apple, and then they found it. How, like, what are the odds that somebody from Gizmodo found the iPhone, the new iPhone, in a bar? in Redwood City. Either way, this thing looks real and uh, I like it a lot. The design is totally different from the 3G or 3GS as you're seeing the pictures and just looks new and sleek and uh, it looks pretty awesome. So let's go through a rundown of the outside of the device. So I'm going to be reading off my notes from Gizmodo so I'm going to be looking at my iPad. So don't don't laugh at me for this. I can't remember all this stuff, okay? There's a lot of, there's a lot of information to remember. What's new? It's got a front-facing video camera. It's got improved regular back camera. The lens is quite notice noticeably larger than the 3GS. Uh, it's got a camera flash right beside the camera on the back. It's got a micro SIM other than a regular SIM that's on the previous iPhone. And this is just like the uh, iPad, except it's now on the side of the device instead of the top of it. Uh, it's got an improved display. It's unclear if it's 960 by 640 display, but like the iPhone is actually stuck on the Connect to iTunes screen uh, because Apple wiped it after they found out it was stolen. And uh, but it looks like it's a higher resolution than the previous iPhone. But the screen is actually a little bit smaller. It has what looks to be a secondary mic for noise cancellation at the top next to the headphone jack. Uh, it's got split volume buttons, uh, so it's actually two separate buttons for the uh, up and down volume buttons. The power, mute, and volume buttons are all metallic. Okay, now let's talk about what has changed in the new iPhone. Now note that they haven't even actually got this iPhone turned on. All they've got it to is the Connect iTunes screen. This could be a whole new operating system. It could be totally different. We haven't seen yet, so just I'm really excited about this. So anyways, let's talk about what's changed. The back is entirely flat, made of either glass, more likely, or a ceramic uh, shiny plastic in order for cell signal to poke through. Because you know with the iPad, there's a lot of Wi-Fi issues, so uh, that's probably the reason they didn't go with the aluminum back. And I'm glad they're not doing that. It has an aluminum border going completely around the outside of the device. It has a slightly smaller screen, as I said, than the 3GS, but the resolution does look higher. Uh, everything is more squared off. It's not like rounded like the uh, previous iPhones. Uh, it's actually 3 grams heavier uh, than the previous iPhone 3GS. Uh, the battery, after they took it apart, they noticed it was 16% larger. Uh, everything they did in this phone is actually shrunken down, uh, supposedly to make the battery bigger. So everything smaller, like the SIM card and just the components inside of the device. So next I get into talking about why they think it's actually real. I'm still skeptical about this, even though I've seen video evidence of it. I just don't know. Like, How does Apple get one of their devices they are so protective of and so... They're just so protective of their stuff before they release it, before they announce it, that I just don't see this happening. Unless they did this on purpose to build hype about it, because companies will do that. They will leak things, uh, leak information in news or pictures, and uh, you'll never know what's from them, but they do it to build hype about products. That could possibly be the case of this. And they may have not found it in a bar in Redwood City. It may have actually been given to them. And if the iPhone is stolen, why isn't Apple's lawyers like all over Gizmodo right now? You know, like, I just don't see this this being truthful or actually Apple gave it to them uh, purposely. So here's why they're skeptical. They said that they get false tips all the time about the, the new iPhones and stuff like that which is obvious when they're a big tech blog. Uh, the overall quality feels exactly like it was a final finished product from Apple. Uh, this may not be the final design though, we never know about that. And after they disassembled the unit there is much evidence stacked in its favor uh, that there is very little possibility that it's fake. In fact possibly it is almost none. Uh, imagine someone having used someone having to use Apple components to design a functioning phone uh, from scratch and then disassembling it to people around the world. Pretty much impossible. Here are the reasons one by one. As I was talking about, the iPhone has actually been reported lost. Apple Connected John Grubber from Daring But Fireball says that Apple has indeed lost a prototype iPhone and they want it back. So I called around and I now believe this is an actual unit from Apple, a unit Apple is very interested in getting back. This is what I'm saying, like Apple's lawyers would be all over them if they just found this thing and it was stolen. Next was a screen. Uh, while we couldn't get it past the Connect to iTunes screen for the reasons listed earlier, the USB cable on that screen was so high quality 
that it was impossible to discern the individual pixels. Sorry, that was hard to read. We can't tell you the exact resolution of this next generation iPhone, but it's much higher than the current 3GS. The operating system. According to the person who found it, this iPhone is running iPhone OS 4.0 before the 4.0 announcement. The person was able to play with it and see the iPhone 4.0 features. Then Apple remotely killed the phone before we got access to it. They were unable to restore to the 4.0 firmware because, of course, they released new firmwares for each device specifically. And there are no firmwares available for the unreleased iPhone, which they say is another clue to authenticity. But uh, how would that make it authentic? If it's a fake iPhone, they're not going to have a firmware for it, of course. It's actually recognized as an iPhone on iTunes. Like, when they plug it up, it's... A, the, iTunes recognizes it as an iPhone. Supposedly. We haven't seen pictures of that though. And then they talk about the fact that it has a micro SIM. Uh, there's no other cell phone on the market that has or that uses a micro SIM and this is why they say that it is a next generation iPhone. And then they talk about the camouflaged case. The case that they used or that they had around the phone as I said made it look exactly like a 3GS and on the inside of the case it looked like it was a regular case for the iPhone 3GS but in the inside of the case it had like grooves and everything to fill out to fit around the iPhone perfectly. So they say this is in fact the 2010 model because they wouldn't already have a, such a good looking product and look like it's already ready to be shipped out and people start using it uh, if it was a 2011 model they wouldn't already be testing it and they say it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be like a previous model, like one that they actually didn't do anything with because it's got better features than the iPhone 3GS, which that's understandable, but I still don't believe it. So after they opened it up, they seen that some of the components inside actually said Apple, and they said it was perfectly made, it fit exactly in the device it was supposed to, and uh, they really think this is from Apple. And then they say the design is like Apple. I'm not really going to get all into that because you could talk about that for a while, about the design of Apple's products. It's sleek, it looks new, and it looks like something you want to play with. So let's talk about the important stuff, the hardware specs. The phone measures 4.50 by 2.31 by 0.37 inches. It weighs 140 grams. The 3GS weight is 130, uh, 130 grams on a postal scale. So in comparison, it's 3 grams heavier, as I said uh, previously. The battery is 5.25 WHR uh, at 3.7 V. Compared to the 3GS battery, which is 4.51, uh, WHR at 3.7V. On the back of the phone it says XX Gigabyte, but since they were unable to turn the phone on and actually use it, they can't see how, many, how much memory is on it. So how does it feel? Gizmodo says it feels freaking amazing. And it looks freaking amazing. As a person who never really liked the round mound of the back of a 3GS, the sleeker, flatter, square uh, design is super welcome. It feels sturdier than the 3GS and much less plasticky. The metal button gives it a heftier feel, less than a toy, than all previous generations. The closest analog to it would be the original iPhone, which is more square and heavy uh, than its newer brothers. It feels completely natural and up to your face, and the fact that both the front and back are glossy makes no difference on how well you can hold it, the phone without slipping, and because it's thinner, it feels even nicer in your pants. That's what she said. <laughs> So what does this all mean? Is this the new iPhone? We'll have to see. What do you guys think about this? If you'd like to see all the pictures and actually even some video of the device, click the link below. I have a link to my site. I'm going to make a post about this. I'm really excited about this, even though I am a bit skeptical, but I mean, it's right there. I don't see how anybody could make something this amazing that's not actually from Apple. Uh, and I, I'm really excited for this device. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, my dog's barking. So if you enjoyed this, please like the video. I don't remember where it's at. And uh, subscribe for more videos. Tons of new stuff coming on this new iPhone. Very excited about it. As soon as I hear any news, I'm posting it for you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to see your comments below. Down there. Peace.